You're about to see a meeting taking place at ABC Manufacturing. Carol Fletcher and her team are gathering for their fortnightly meeting. The agenda contains seven items, including any other business. Take a moment now to gather pens and paper and position yourself to take the role of minute taker. Before the meeting starts... Welcome to our department meeting and nice to see you all. Morning. Now we have a new team member, um, Trudy Finch, our HR manager. So I'd like to start with some introductions. As you are aware, I'm the senior team manager, Carol Fletcher. Uh, Peter. Hi, I'm Peter Morgan, finance manager, uh, with a team of five reporting to me. And I'm, uh, we haven't met yet, I'm Frank Mayfair, head Frank. of IT. I've been here for the last ten years. Okay. Hi Trudy, I'm Mike Reynard. Uh, we spoke on the phone last week. Yeah. I'm in yeah. charge of uh, the production floor. And she came in 15% cheaper. That is a significant amount. Yeah. Mm. Okay, Peter, uh, go ahead and purchase on the proviso that the quality and guarantee are just as good. Could you update us on the production figures for last quarter, please? Absolutely. Um, figures are up on the previous quarter by 2% on product streams 1 and 2, and down by 0.5% on product stream 3. We believe this is due to a recent sales campaign which focused on the higher margin items in product streams 1 and 2, which is a little short-sighted, as reorder rates on stream 3 products are quicker, so we tend to sell more products. Moving on to the next agenda item. Um, Trudy, could you summarise the recent recruitment programme? Absolutely. Uh, basically, the full figures are in the HR report on the internet, so I'll just give a brief overview. Okay. Uh, we recruited 10 new people January to April, and nine have successfully completed their probation. So, just one woman, Sheila Rose, she left after three weeks, her husband had to relocate for work. Um, so, overall, it was a success. And interestingly, our successful recruits came from the radio ad rather than our traditional advertising routes. So, therefore, I would suggest that we review our advertising methods. This with a black and yellow safety tape at the top and bottom of the stairs to warn people as a visual sign. Now, unfortunately, whoever put the tape down didn't do a particularly good job. They left a limb, somebody tripped over the safety tape, caused themselves an injury. So, we need to be aware of that sort of thing. Okay, uh, were there any other areas? The alpha system. We're now just about to approach the implementation phase, so I'd appreciate your input on two options uh, for rollout, actually, and how to best roll out the training programme on site. I'm in favour of a phased rollout, so we can check for faults whilst keeping the level of service high. Okay. Actually, I disagree. I think for a culture change, do a swift implementation and just force people into the new system. The, the longer that we dally, then the more resistance people can have. Mm, we need to consider the impact on shifts before we implement anything. Well, let's not be too hasty. We need to get this right first time. By phasing, we can sell its success to departments as we go. To deliver the training. I mean, we don't want to risk leaving the training until the new system's installed. We've thought of that. We've got a dummy uh, testing system which is coming next week, so we can actually start to uh, train within our individual teams for actually next Wednesday. Who is doing the training and what's the cost? Um, I think that's over to HR, isn't it? You're, you're doing the training. No, no, no. We don't have the resource. Oh, I mean, you'll need to recruit and train people from within the business. I mean, we're happy to develop a training calendar and we'll communicate that out to managers. I mean, look, it's an excellent opportunity to get some system champions in place yeah. and give people the opportunity to develop their skills. We need to make sure they're competent at training the system. We can't afford for people to be poorly trained once it's live. No, no, no. I mean, from the pilot, we can develop a training day and train the trainers and we'll give them ongoing support. See, now don't forget that we've agreed to be the trial department, so we can iron out... My team had a, had a good idea. Why don't we allow people 20 minutes per day during their lunch break and then have clear penalties for people found using the net outside of that time? How would we monitor that? I just say we need to make sure that people are motivated. And if it's too harsh a penalty, then, then people are just going to maybe misuse the system even more. OK, what other ideas have we got? 
we could put a stop to it altogether and only allow people access to our own intranet system. Yeah, you, you see, that's all very well, but we need to keep people motivated. And some people use the internet for work. Yeah. If, if all we do is take away from them, there'll be eruptions on the shop floor. We don't want to be perceived as just taking away all of their personal. I'm planning to be involved in the actual cycle ride. I'm happy to take that role on, fly the flag. <laughs> we could, thanks, Peter. Okay, are there any further items to cover in any other business? Not from me. No. No, 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 no. Okay, on that note, let's summarise the actions and close the meeting. Our next meeting is in two weeks' time, 18th of October, same time and place. Great.